With Queen Camilla sidelined by illness, King Charles took center stage at the Royal Variety Performance, sharing laughs with Sir Elton John and mingling with a dazzling lineup of stars. How did the monarch handle the evening alone, and what moment stole the show? Let's dive into this glittering night at the Royal Albert Hall. Charles signed solo at the Royal Variety. King Charles may have attended the Royal Variety performance without Queen Camilla, but that didn't stop him from enjoying the star-studded evening. Looking every bit the elegant monarch in a classic dinner jacket, Charles arrived at the Royal Albert Hall to a warm reception. The highlight of his entrance was a friendly exchange with Sir Elton John, who greeted the king with a smile. Elton, accompanied by his husband, David Furnish, was there to showcase a number from his new musical, The Devil Wears Prada. It was clear from the moment the king stepped into the venue that, despite the absence of his wife, he was prepared to make the most of the evening. A royal red carpet and unexpected absences. The red carpet was a spectacle in itself, with Amanda Holden making waves and a seafoam ensemble reminiscent of a mermaid. Her shimmering, crop top and flowing skirt made her one of the standout figures of the night, drawing comparisons to Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Alan Carr, her co-host for the evening, brought his own flair in a midnight blue jacket adorned with a lizard brooch. Although they didn't get a chance to greet King Charles before the show, the duo shared a joyful moment with him afterward. The night took a poignant turn when Charles accepted a posy from young well-wishers on behalf of Queen Camilla. The flowers, chosen from the gardens of Brinsworth House, mirrored those the Queen carried on her wedding day, a nod to Camilla, who was unable to attend due to ongoing recovery from a chest infection. Royal Laughs and Star-Studded Performances The night was filled with laughter, particularly during a comedic sketch by political satirist Matt Ford. Known for his sharp impressions, Ford poked fun at recent political headlines, even involving King Charles in a playful jab about his spaniel namesake. The monarch's hearty laughter captured on camera showed his appreciation for the light-hearted humor. Other notable performances included a special medley from Oliver, an enchanting number by Cirque du Soleil, and a classic song from Eurovision's latest winner, Nemo. The blend of comedy, music, and magic provided a perfect mix of entertainment, highlighting the long-standing tradition of the Royal Variety Show, now in its 111th year. Keeping the tradition alive amid changes. While Queen Camilla's absence was felt, the Royal Variety Show carried on with the spirit of celebration and tradition. This was King Charles's first time attending as the official patron of the Royal Variety Charity, marking a new era for the annual event. The show not only entertained but also raised awareness for the charity's mission to support individuals in the entertainment industry facing financial or mental health struggles. Highlights included an emotional performance from Lorraine Kelly's Change and Check Choir and a show-stopping number by Britain's Got Talent winner, Sydney Christmas, backed by a full orchestra. These performances, alongside other dazzling acts, underscored the Royal Variety's unique role in bringing together the best of British talent. Concluding a memorable evening. As the curtain closed on this year's Royal Variety performance, King Charles took time to meet and greet with the performers, from illusionist Penn and Teller to the English National Ballet Sugar Plum Fairy. Each interaction highlighted his genuine appreciation for the arts and the joy he found in the evening's entertainment. Though Camilla was unable to join him, Charles's presence and good spirits carried the night, ensuring that the show's legacy remained strong. Insiders have reassured that Queen Camilla is on the mend and expected to resume her duty soon, leaving fans hopeful for her return at future royal events. That's all from this year's Royal Variety performance. How do you think King Charles handled the solo spotlight? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on royal events and celebrity stories. Thank you for watching! And see you next time.